Welcome to the Filmfest Bremen in collaboration with Indie Film Talk. My name is Christoph Dobic and today we talk about the movie Matena by Joaquin Peña Garicano and writer and director Joaquin is here today with me. Okay, thank you for inviting me. Yes. Your new movie is from Uruguay and it has its first screening in Germany here at Filmfest Bremen. You present on this a strange and wonderful story, a road trip about two people in a dystopic future where mate is forbidden in Uruguay. As somebody who traveled to South America, I have an idea what mate is and what it means to you, but can you just tell the audience a little bit about what we are talking about? Thank you for, for your words um, first. And yes, the, the mate is like um, a company for, for the people from, from, from Uruguay and from South America. In, in Bolivia, Bra Paraguay, Chile, Bra south of Brazil and Argentina. It's like uh, when, when somebody comes to your house, you, you give it a mate. It's like a hospitality, I don't know. But also, it's uh, it's something that you use for like like coffee mm -hmm. for the Europeans for get more strong for wake up in the morning, and many of us are uh, addicted to the mate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have my mate there, <laughs> I, and it's very very crazy for us to thought a future without the mate or mm -hmm. a, re a reality without the mate because it's. Uh, something that you you can see in Uruguay, people uh, riding a bike, mm -hmm. drinking mate, mm -hmm. uh, driving a car, yeah. <laughs> is in the bus. Yeah. Uh, every we are the most um, consumer of mm -hmm. mate per capita mm -hmm. of the world, <laughs> but we don't produce yerba mate. Mm -hmm. That is the the absurd. <laughs> <laughs> we buy all the yerba, the mate mm -hmm. from um, south of Brazil. Mm -hmm. We are not producers, but yeah. consumers. <laughs> I remember it was a very first experience when I got out of the train in Uruguay into a taxi and the taxi driver took his cup of mate and was like, yeah. where do you want to go? And you all have... <laughs> this, this is Uruguay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and it has a lot of uh, significance behind, like you have special cups, you have these metal straws, like you can tell when somebody's drinking mate just by the cups and the straws they are using, right? Like, yes. when, when, when you see someone holding mate in the sand, you can see from afar what they are drinking, right? I don't understand the question. Okay. <laughs> you have H how you, you make the mate? Or no, no, how you drink it. How like, you drink. do you have, for your mate, do you have a special cup or a yes, special yes, straw? Yes, no, yes. Every, every, every person has uh, his own uh, mm -hmm. calabaza, is the, the, yes. the name of, of, of the thing that you, that you use. Mm -hmm. and his own uh, way to use. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm very um, strict yeah. <laughs> with my mate. Yeah. Uh, I was telling you and a, f and a friend that I met recently from, from Spain that mm -hmm. in, in my house, my, my wife have one mate and, and I have another mm -hmm. because she drink a lot uh, mm -hmm. very quickly and I go to, I, I, I like my mate, mm -hmm. I don't know how to say, but más prolijo. Mm. And you, you and wrote it's, it's yeah. like a, a ritual to yeah. the, the, the drinking mate because it's not like a coffee that you drink a coffee and you uh, mm -hmm. left. Uh, you, you can be all the morning, mm -hmm. but you prepare the, 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 the mate mm -hmm. and you drink some mate, you left doing something in the computer, continue. Mm -hmm. It's like a company, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's very fitting. And you wrote in your synopsis, uh, it would be like if you prohibit tea in England or beer in Germany or yeah. coffee in the United States. Jam in Spain. In yeah. Spain. <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> and I think for all this cultural significance, it would like even be worse. It's like coffee and beer and tea. Like everything is, is as sure. important. No matter. So this is one of the foundations of your movie that people can understand what is mad and why is it a terrible future when the government yeah. suddenly cuts it off. Yes, it's this topic for yeah. us. Yeah. <laughs> only thinking that, the, that you can, yeah. that the mate was prohibited. Mm -hmm. 
So in Uruguay, when you show your movie, it's a kind of like a horror movie, like when, when people think about that the Martin yes. Wittig are taken away, they get really anxious. Yes, in Uruguay, the, the, the topic of the film yeah. was very successful mm -hmm. because this, 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 uh, yeah. this point, everybody, mm -hmm. ah, I don't know what to say <laughs> without my math. Yes. That, uh, we are very happy with this. Mm -hmm. Uruguay is, uh, was um, premiere mm -hmm. in 3 of March, yeah. and it's very, very good mm -hmm. response of the people. And also, I believe people, even who have never been to Uruguay, understand what Mate is and what Mate means. There is another aspect that's very local. You write uh, that there are some uh, aspects of Jose Artigas in the movie, yes. and I had to Google him. Can you say who he was and what he mm. means to your region, to your country? Yes, he, uh, he was a um, revolutionary mm -hmm. um, against the, the, the independence of mm -hmm. South America. Yeah. But he wants to do uh, some like a um, uh, rational, mm -hmm. big country mm -hmm. with uh, with autonomy, mm -hmm. but what uh, political problems mm -hmm. they uh, um, lose with uh, the war, mm -hmm. and they at the end of his days he um, for, uh, was um, extradited. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, from Paraguay. Yeah. They they go. You go there to Paraguay, like mm -hmm. like a jail, but in in, in a place. Mm -hmm. And when they go to Paraguay, uh, all the people in Uruguay mm -hmm. uh, join him, mm -hmm. like a group of many persons to uh, accompany, mm -hmm. to go with him, mm -hmm. to 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 uh, get out of the country. This country d uh, don't. Uh, it's done. It's not um, uh, good without mm -hmm. this this person. Yeah. This uh, and this was the, the the beginning of the national feeling mm -hmm. from Uruguay. This uh, event, this mom the moment mm -hmm. history. And it, when when you are a child, when you are in, in the school, the, they tell to you that Artigas and. S s the, uh, the last days mm -hmm. of Artigas was drinking mate in Paraguay. <laughs> I don't know why, but the, uh, every school they told you mm -hmm. with a partner yeah. that was his name was Ancina. Mm -hmm. And when uh, when you are a child, you think well, I don't know why, but mm -hmm. he uh, uh, end his life drinking mate. Yeah. And the the movie have a, a metaphor with mm -hmm. this, with a travel to Paraguay yeah. and to to. The people join the the, mm -hmm. the heroes, but they don't want to be heroes. Yeah. No? In Artigas, also, mm -hmm. he dead. The, the, um, after mm -hmm. his death, they put like a uh, in a stone. Uh, this is not is our national hero, but they don't want to mm -hmm. that exist a country, mm -hmm. a Uruguay country. Yeah, I understand. You understand? Yeah, no, 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 I understand it. Really, and. There is this wonderful quote in the movie where your two protagonists, who are like just local farm boys who want to enjoy their lives, say yeah. to each other, we do the best things in life to have Marte to drink afterwards. And, and I really like this. Just what you say, they don't want to be heroes. They just want yeah. to live a good life yeah. and have a cup of Marte afterwards. So yeah, these yeah. aspects are really, really clear in your movie. And you decided to take these two things, like a uh, national hero of your country and a uh, weird story about a government cracking down on your favorite drink, and mm. combine them into a road movie. Mm. Was it always the plan to have two guys get into a car and travel across country? Or had you ever yeah. thought about, well, maybe the whole movie can just take place on the farm or take place in Uruguay? Sure. Was it always a road movie in your head? Yes, yes, yes. Because mm -hmm. I, I like the, the, this idea that mm -hmm. that um, compare yeah. the, the travel of these two mm -hmm. guys with the uh, Artigas uh, yeah. trip, uh, mm -hmm. and I, I love the, the Red Bull movies because mm -hmm. uh, they gave you the chance of, of use the music mm -hmm. in, in, in in the travel and yeah. and to show the the, the, the country. No, mm -hmm. I think that yeah, and I'm always. Like to be in the interior, no, mm -hmm. not 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 the city, yeah. Because I like this p 
part of Uruguay that is all um, land, mm -hmm. cows, yeah. sheep. Yeah. <laughs> because in Uruguay, it's a very little country, three million of people mm -hmm. uh, live in all Uruguay. And in the, um, in the country, in the interior, it's mm -hmm. very empty mm -hmm. and very quiet yeah. place. And I, I, I want to, to play with this mm -hmm. idea that the, the time don't happen mm -hmm. in, in, in this. You can go now a little uh, town in Uruguay and you see cars from mm -hmm. 40s that are mm -hmm. uh, driving the cars. They, are, they work, yeah. are working. And this is like an um, idea that I, I had that if you invade, in, um, if you create the time machine in mm -hmm. Uruguay, it didn't work <laughs> because in the always the time is like a lake, mm -hmm. and yeah. this is one I, idea that I, I like to 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 make humor with that. No, mm -hmm. yeah, it's not seriously, but but <laughs> it's 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 like a laugh of our mm -hmm. debilities. No, yeah, I see, and of course, like we already mentioned, is the trip the landscape it's a big part of the road movie you have a lot of times where it just shows the scenery and have some music playing and you find beautiful pictures for it like there is wonderful landscape and even the stops they are having in these old houses and barnyards and farms they all look really wonderful and have a very true feeling to them How did you find your route? How did you find the places they have to drive through and the places where they have to stop? Um, very nice, uh, your words and your question. <laughs> <laughs> I think that is, um, the intention was uh, not be in places uh, that were I identificated. Mm -hmm. It's like a, an imagining Uruguay, no? Mm -hmm. I think that, but the cows and the, the old houses mm -hmm. and, the, and the old people is mm -hmm. like, a, a, it's es essentially is how uh, Uruguay is. Mm -hmm. yeah, we have a little, a few children, too much ancient. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It, uh, and I think that, that find the, the, the places was very, very, um, very funny mm -hmm. a very funny part of yeah. the of, of of the of the project mm -hmm. because we want to find nice places but not uh, the characteristic places mm -hmm. that you see when you see Uruguay they they show you something touristic mm -hmm. and this is another part of the country and we we film in a little town uh, called La Cruz mm -hmm. uh, and some river uh, and we go to the um, there is a route from uruguay mm -hmm. that have a panoramic route mm -hmm. that have very nice places mm -hmm. and we invent the the, the trip because yeah. we we film they go da, go out here mm -hmm. <laughs> and well we rearm the map but mm -hmm. it's not a, ma a real map yeah and but the people in uruguay said uh, I'm in Uruguay, but I don't uh, understand where. Mm -hmm. But this is a funny yeah. thing for me, that uh, is a, pl a, a distant places. Yeah, it's interesting that you talk about a, a country where the places are kind of weird, interconnected with each other, and the time doesn't have really a meaning. Yeah. And and the name of the places. Yeah. We in Uruguay have many places that have sad names. I don't yeah. know why, but <laughs> really. Okay. Uh, and, and we uh, um, mm -hmm. invent the, the, the names of the towns, mm -hmm. but in that way, yeah. sad names. The Bishangosta is like a, uh, I don't know, I don't know translate, but it, mm -hmm. the, all the names okay. have, the, uh, it's a metaphor of, of this kind of names. Okay, yes. And You still decided to set the movie a little bit in the future, I said 20 years in the future from now, 2045, but you don't have any science fiction elements in it, like there are no yeah. fancy phones, it's again a timeless movie, but you decided to set it in the future, yeah. so why? There are no screens or... Yeah, abs absolutely, so like it, it, it's so weird, like it's, it's 20 years in the future, but it looks Can like... Can be in the, in the 80s. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. this was the in the idea in the first because uh -huh. um, in Uruguay there is a, 
uh, the old person always says that Uruguay um, um, in 10 years always have a, cri a crisis. Mm -hmm. 10 years more, all, another crisis. It always it's like a, a circle. Mm -hmm. And we have a lot of um, uh, go, uh, dictadura, I don't know how to say, yeah. a government with the, yeah. the military government. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have uh, many uh, in the history of Uruguay. Mm -hmm. And this, uh, in, the, in, the, in the movie, that you have a, like an oppressive uh, mm. government, or you, you, you feel that, that, yeah. that. And we thought that it, it's possible that in Uruguay in the future be, can be worse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because uh, there are um, something cyclic. Mm -hmm. And for us, it's like a, a, a metaphor of this, mm -hmm. of, of this uh, country that the time do doesn't pass. Mm -hmm and uh, always you have uh, problems with the government, or there was other time it's wood, or, or again problems with the government. Yeah. This is the, the, the idea. Yeah. I don't know he, he's showing the movie, but yeah. <laughs> it's the idea. No, it's an, I mean, it, I, I have And, to and it's myself, cheaper, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because <laughs> we don't, we don't uh -huh. have the possibility to do uh, mm -hmm. movies for um, yeah. And, uh, in the moon, astronaut, and with flying cars, <laughs> and it's a way to to imagine mm -hmm. a possible future. Mm -hmm. No, uh, that we can yeah. do. I think that's really interesting because when I saw 2045 uh, in the credits, I thought, okay, well, where do the science fiction elements come in? And I was really mm. surprised when it was only the government that was this topic, and I thought, oh well. Sure. I guess there is a message in there, and yeah. there obviously yes, yeah. Yes, in Uruguay, when the when the part of the of the of the, of the film said 2045, yeah, the people laugh w because yeah. when when the the black goes out, the yeah. car is old, and, and it's like a same, always yeah. we always going to be like that. Mm -hmm. Another aspect uh, that's very typical for a road movie is that you collect a bunch of characters. Like in the beginning, there are two people going on the road. Soon they meet an old farmer, then they meet a young boy they take with them, and then a, a female artist that comes with them on the trip. And again, it's an aspect of road movies in general I really like when you yeah. form your gang. Yeah. How did you choose these characters? Did you always decide, oh, they have to pick up this guy and this girl and meet this and this? Or did you have more or maybe even less people in mind when you wrote the movie in the first place? No, in the travel, no, mm -hmm. th there's these, those two characters. Yeah. But there were another characters that mm -hmm. we got in the, mm -hmm. because it was very expensive and we have to, mm -hmm. to take off 30 pages of the script. Oh, okay. Very sad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but there, uh, there was another town mm -hmm. that is not in, it's only in the papers. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I, I thought that was funny that the, the two characters are the heroes, in, uh, but they don't do anything. Mm -hmm. that when they have a problem, the, 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 the boy mm -hmm. is always, is, is more hero than there. Mm -hmm. And they, and the another country, the another character that was more small in the film that in the script. Uh, the idea was the, the she has the the, the part more cerebral of mm -hmm. the of the of the team mm -hmm. because they they go they are protagonists but they go go only mm -hmm. without know where where they go. No, this this is the idea that the 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 group help us to 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 pass the pro the, the travels you know? mm -hmm. yeah absolutely i mean and the the yeah. the, um, the boy was very interesting when, when we find him because we want a, a character that was serious mm -hmm. say, uh, like a, a in uruguay when in a, in old countries we have a child that uh, ha, uh, live have uh, his way of life is mm -hmm. like was adult, no? Be the, because they live in the street and they have a, a, a adult mm -hmm. behavior, no? yeah. And uh, we we knew that that doesn't go, uh, 
uh, find him in, in a school theater that we find in, in, in the football teams and we, we uh, make a, a search. Uh, and when we find Leandro, Leandro Silva is the name of them, he was incredible. He, we, we make the, the casting and he, don't matter that the, 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 the camera is on or not, he talk always the same. It was very nice experience to work with him. Uh, all the team love him <laughs> because very you are ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. Okay, mm -hmm. and very stood in the, the the script. Very very nice mm -hmm. group. And all the all the the, the team the crew mm -hmm. was uh, human experience. Very nice. Mm -hmm. I think that the the better things that I can uh, keep out of the experience mm -hmm. is the the seven weeks of of, of Rodaje of mm -hmm. filming, filming uh -huh. of filming was a very team uh, joint team mm -hmm. and very nice uh, ambience. Very for the first experience, incredible. Mm -hmm. I thought that maybe it's uh, m uh, too much nervous and people with m too much energy, mm -hmm. uh, too much uh, experience. Mm -hmm. And I'm uh, my first time, mm -hmm. but no, very very nice. The 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 kind of people to to give you a place to, mm -hmm. to, to do and to, to, to do well or bad, but to do you, you, your experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and for me, I really felt the companionship. Like you put uh, a lot of people in a small car and I believe you always see when actors get along or not. And it seems like a group that were genuine friends and it came across in the movie. So mm -hmm. I really like that feeling about it. Let us talk about another aspect when it comes to the mood of the film. So you have kind of an over-the-top premise, a kind of absurd premise, mm -hmm. and you could have gone for a straight comedy that's, that's just crazy and out of bounds, but you have some very dramatic moments. You have uh, some moments that are very serious. You have uh, even some action moments when people are almost get killed. Yeah. You have a small car chase, you have a yeah. gun. And then you have like super funny moments when people try to cross the border and just yes. having exchanges. How did you balance all these things out? Like when, okay, here it needs to be a little funnier and here it needs to be a little more serious or mm. was it always just a matter of feeling when which part takes hold of the movie? A very good question because it, this was the most difficult part of the, mm -hmm. of the work. To, to to find the balance mm -hmm. to uh, I, I think that w we want to 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 create a, a mood that 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 have this this kind of difference mm -hmm. uh, because the the life is is like that now you have a mm -hmm. sad moment and you laugh and you have a happy moments and you're mm -hmm. crying and I think that uh, many times we have to to put in a in a box. No, if it's funny. You have to be funny all the time, mm -hmm. but it's difficult because the people it begins to laugh. It, it wants to continue laughing, and you mm -hmm. have to to um, uh, to drive this 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 uh, this emotion yeah. with the, with the and the the editing was a very hard uh, mm -hmm. uh, and very long. Mm -hmm. We we were in. Almost two years with mm -hmm. the with the editing part because we don't find the the, the, the exactly mood we, we want, mm -hmm. but I think that works. Yeah. <laughs> and how did you think? How how did you find it in the end? Just did you give the screenplay to your friends and partners? Did you give it to the actors, or did you just reflect so, on yourself? Sometimes we stop to show mm -hmm. because if you show too much, I think yeah. that. Uh, in, in sometimes you have to to close this door, I think, mm -hmm. because you have to to be, uh, but for now be crazy, you know, mm -hmm. because all the people uh, have his his point of of, of view, mm -hmm. and uh, it's, it's, uh, we 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 saw we show uh, some directors that we mm -hmm. the friend of us, and but in sometimes in some moment we we. We said, okay, we don't have to show anymore. We have to work mm -hmm. here and uh, decide. Mm -hmm. <laughs> be be um, valiant. No mm -hmm. say, 
And if yeah. it, the people don't like, don't like. If mm -hmm. people like, but you can always uh, looking for the the, the 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 people view. Or you, mm -hmm. and I think in some moment you have to to go get to the water. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Let me ask you one more thing about the screenplay and especially about the ending. Um, you choose a kind of somber ending. I wouldn't call it sad, but it's not a happy ending either. Like if your hero story, the hero's journey is a big no. revolutionary journey and you decide to give this kind of a sadder tone that they do not succeed and there is no yeah. great rebellion. But on the other hand, they find kind of personal happiness, like they are mm. in their own place and enjoying their life as they wanted to. Did you know from the beginning that this was the ending you're going to do? Was it like, the, oh, this is more or less what happened to Atigas? Or did mm. you think about doing a super happy ending or maybe something really, really sad or, or sure. tragic? No, in, in the first version of, of the script mm -hmm. was more sad. The, the, the more sad. See, yeah. see yeah. For, they don't... Um, lograr lograr no sé cómo se dice they don't can do anything okay. to the end I, I know it's yeah. I have few, few words to, mm -hmm. to, to talk <laughs> sorry yeah. but uh, I think that in some moment uh, I think in, in this uh, picture of Artigas they mm -hmm. say they, they have to go they have yeah. to, to uh, they have to have a little win mm -hmm. I, I think that the, it's the win that we can have many mm -hmm. we, we don't um we don't uh, have uh, usually mm -hmm. uh, happy endings mm -hmm. in, in some in some places. When in the, in the real life, <laughs> we don't have happy endings mm -hmm. in the uh, final. And I think that this is a, a, a good a good type because mm -hmm. uh, I think the characters uh, win his fin mm -hmm. his his end because they they have to to have some. Victory, mm -hmm. I think, yeah. but it was in the process of, mm -hmm. of, of the script. Yeah, no, I totally agree. I would think a happy ending would have been like very Hollywood-like and sure. would have not fit the tone of your movie. Yeah. And I'm interested what the very first ending was, like your first draft, because I felt when it would just be a set ending, I would more or less feel insulted as an audience. Like, well, like, sure. I've spent so many time with these guys, and now you sure. just throw them away. What's kind sure. of that? So. I, I think it was a very nice balance you found. My last question for you is, this is the first uh, feature film you made, the first full-length movie. You uh, went to film school, you made short films, but it's a different thing to make a movie of this runtime. Mm -hmm. So what were your biggest struggles with switching to the long format with such a scope of a movie? Well, this is another, um, it's a long trip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And you have to 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 be quiet with your ansiedad, mm -hmm. anxiety, mm -hmm. uh, because is uh, in 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 our countries is is too many years. You you are looking for the financiation. It's very hard to 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 keep the money to to do the the film. And we have to with the script uh, finish, but four years looking. Uh, the, we made a co-production with Brazil, a co-production with Argentina. Mm -hmm. We can uh, apply to the to the funds in Brazil, mm -hmm. and we join the the money. Um, and you have to be patient, but uh, it's a very uh, beautiful journey. I think that is uh, you learn a lot. Uh, for your mistakes, mm -hmm. <laughs> but you are all, all, uh, always learning uh, to 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 direct mm -hmm. as, uh, like a ship, like a big mm -hmm. ship. No, I think that that is like like the movie, like mm -hmm. the Moncho and Figo, that yeah. the character of the movie. You have to be hard hake mm -hmm. uh, to go mm -hmm. to go to continue mm -hmm. the, the trip because in some time you think ah oh, this is too hard mm -hmm. and sometimes you look uh, around you and you look 40 people that mm -hmm. are uh, because you they're in this uh, ab absurd 
free, uh, in the middle of a land, uh, filming cows. <laughs> uh, but it's a very, um, uh, for the point of view of the of, of the of the human, the, the part mm -hmm. is very unforgettable mm -hmm. moment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And are you going to continue this journey? Is there another feature-length movie in your future, or do you need a break right now from yeah. from everything that film did? Uh, we were talking for on this today. I think that uh, uh, I have uh, already a script finished, mm -hmm. but uh, I want to find a uh, a little script. Uh, 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 not a little history, a lit, um, something that a little cheap mm -hmm. because <laughs> because you have uh, I, I don't know if, if I can to wait so many years to another uh, big movie. I think that I want to 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 prove uh, an, another way to to do the movies because in the more formal way is 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 long. You have a, a good directors in Uruguay that uh, Pablo Stoll, he, he, he wrote uh, 25 Watt and Whiskey. Uh, we were in, in Cannes, in Rotterdam, and they make a movie 10 years, one movie, eight years, one, another mm -hmm. movie. And it's difficult to, to, to wait all this time, I think. But I want to continue. <laughs> Beautiful. So uh, let me teach you one word from North Germany. The smallest ship that you can find here on the sea, it's called a Jolle. Jollem. Yeah. My Jollem. It, yeah, <laughs> it's it's a small ship and only one person can operate it. And it's mm -hmm. the uh, ship you try to uh, make your first sales with. So okay. this will be super interesting after you've done your big super tanker of yeah. a film. Maybe you find a Jolle for you to make your next journey. Yes, thank you. Good. Joaquin, thank you so much for being here and thank you for the insights in your film and the interesting conversation. Thank you for you. It's very honor for me to be here. And if you want to watch uh, the movie Martena and get into the Marte spirit at some of the first audiences in Germany, you can do it in the film blog Humor and Satire at Filmfest Bremen or online until May the 1st.